Uh, it's been it's been hard to be honest. Uh, I've had a few few injuries over the, my career, but the longest I think I've ever done is sort of three or four months. So, and they were normally in the off season getting things fixed. So this is a bit, this was a tricky one in terms of the span of the injury. Uh, it's been you know ten and a half months, so it's been a long a long slog. But um, yeah, moving clubs didn't make it easier on one hand. But I, I knew a lot of the guys, I knew the coaches, so. It was tricky because when you, you show up, you want to make an impact and you want to be part of the squad, but I haven't been able to contribute in that way yet. But like I said, I knew a lot of the guys. Um, so yeah, it's, been, it's not been the ideal start to my Edinburgh career because this is the longest I've been out. Actually, this is going to sound really, I don't, I don't actually feel like a rugby player. I just you know, rehabbed and did the gym. And um, when you watch it, you, you watch from the sidelines after you've been out so long, you think it's. You know, it's a hell of a physical sport. You feel like, how are you going to get back into this? But that's probably the one side of the game you, you do miss the most is uh, getting involved with the physical stuff. You know, if you don't like that stuff, you, you, you're in the wrong sport. So I spent a long, a long time with Luke and I. Was sort of we've got a WhatsApp group, and guys were coming into the group injured, leaving, getting re-injured, coming back in the group, and then leaving again. And I was still there. <laughs> So, <laughs> to be honest, I've worked, I've worked a lot with Luke now, um, and he's been brilliant. Like in terms of my injury, wasn't straightforward. The rehab, there was a few things that made it a bit more complicated. And um, yeah, he, him, and, and Andy have worked tirelessly with me to get me fit again. So it's not an easy job for those guys to deal with us at the best of times. And I think sometimes being injured is quite men more mentally draining. So they are. Uh, I think it's important in that group that things are kept light-hearted, and we've always we've always managed to have a good laugh. I lived in Glasgow for nine years and I never came through to the festival. And I was like, it's like 45 miles away. And then I came here the first year and I was like, this is quite good actually. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I've just, yeah, like I said, I've never lived in Edinburgh. I love the city. Um, it's a great, great thing to, 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 great thing to live here. And I didn't really realise how, how brilliant a city it was until I've actually spent, you know, the last year here. I don't ever told you you look like Bradley Cooper. <laughs> Yeah, I hate when people say that. It's so, <laughs> so embarrassing.